right? Welcome everyone. Uh, go ahead and get comfy, comfy excuse me, in a meditation seat. Uh, assis sur des blocs. You could be sitting on your blanket, something that you can hold for a few minutes and it's never a mistake if you need to, to change positions. Welcome to your 75 minute, about 75 minute yin practice with me tonight, Christina. Maybe you went walking or hiking or skiing. Snow is good for that today. So we're gonna wind it down this afternoon with a practice that I like to call um, concealment and revealment. So a lot of forward folding, a lot of back bending physically for our body. It does us good to have that duality of movement balances us out, whether it's muscles, whether it's physical, it could be your chi, your prana, whatever you like to call it. And mentally, it kind of resets us to let everything go as we forward fold and to open up ready to receive something new as we back bend. So go ahead and rest your hands down on your thighs if you need to ground, good option for today, or if you need to receive, perfect option too, palms up. Laissez les épaules aller loin des oreilles, puis prenez une longue inspiration, montez les épaules vers les oreilles. Big breath in, scrunch your shoulders up. Let it go out of your mouth, exhale, release the shoulders down. And with your eyes closed, I simply invite you to start to get heavy in your lower body. Let the ankles sink down into the ground. Let your knees and thighs get heavy. Bring your awareness to your hips. Feel your hips. See your hips in your mind and now relax them. And from that nice solid base, come out of any scrunching, come reçu un fil d'aiguille, euh, pardon, un fil vous tirez par la couronne de la tête, vous aidant à vous allonger. Before we go into silence and meditation, I'll warm us up with a nice breathing exercise. Open to everyone. If you feel at any point that you need to take a break, go for it. We'll be doing equal ratio inhales, holding, and then we'll exhale for a little bit longer. So we invite our nervous system to calm down. So go ahead just with one full big breath in. And let it go out of your mouth. And softly through the nose, inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold it. And as you hold your breath, relax the inside of your body and shoulders. Out the nose, exhale for the count of five, four, three, all the way to empty, one, and hold. Puis on répète, inspirez, quatre, trois, deux, un, retenez. Relaxez la mâchoire, la langue. Par le nez, expire. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, puis retenez. Again, like that. Inhale, four, three, filling up your whole front body with breath, and then hold it. Out the nose, we'll exhale for six, five, four, slow it down, two, one, and hold. Feel your navel up and in. Relax the knees. Let's do it again. Inhale, four, three, two, one, and hold. This time a little bit longer, if you wish, for seven, six, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold. And release, soft inhales in and out of your nose. Let's begin by just bringing ourselves right here, right now. Following your breath. Observez votre souffle, décrivez-le à vous-même. Entièrement présent, comment vous respirez? Où est-ce que la respiration se trouve? Si elle est longue ou courte, rapide.
And after that breathing exercise, is it a little bit easier for you to maybe focus on that breath? Do you have maybe a little bit less of a distraction? And starting to feel your body settle. I invite you to make your inhales a tiny bit longer, maybe a little bit fuller. And start to watch your exhale all the way to the end until you feel your belly clench, letting you know there's no more air to exhale. And just like that, this cycle of our breath is a perfect assistance to our practice today. As you inhale, you inhale what you need to receive. And when you exhale, it's just something that you're letting go of that really doesn't serve you anymore. Maybe that thought that you've been thinking over and over again. And then you breathe in, maybe a new way to look at it. Tout au long de votre pratique ce soir, je vous invite à simplement respirer de cette façon-là pendant les pauses. Des fois, ça sera plus long, des fois, ça sera plus court, peut-être à certains moments intenses. Mais sachez que votre respiration, c'est le parfait outil que vous avez pour vous aider à vous calmer. And it's also the perfect tool to remind you that you're right here, right now. Nothing to do but watch your body and breathe. Have a wonderful practice, everyone. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. And we'll start by moving ourselves into a tabletop before we shift into our first position. So get some stuff out of the way. And as you come into tabletop, go ahead and just move from side to side. Sans trop y penser, commencez à vous basculer. And then wherever your body takes you, whatever kind of movement happens, could be hip rolls, cat or cow, go ahead and go for it. Maybe you just came back from a walk, maybe for a full day outside, or maybe you just been chilling all day, go ahead and move your body in whatever way you feel that you need to. And pairing that movement just with your big, full breath, awareness. And puis tout doucement, commencez à ralentir vos mouvements pour just vous ramener dans une table. Bring yourself back to table. And we'll start in a child's pose and we'll be here for about three or four minutes. So in child's pose, toes together, knees apart. It could be a lot of pressure on the ankles and on the knees if you're going to hold it for a while. So if you know that's the case for you or at any point during the pose you feel this, you can lift your bum off off your heels, open the feet up, place a bunch of cushions or blocks so that you're less pressure on your ankles. Start to get comfy and then walk yourself down towards your forearms. Come on, avec les avant-bras. And while you're there, kind of just adjusting into your position. Pressez vos pieds au sol légèrement. Puis à l'aide des mains qui pressent dans le sol, venez vous asseoir sur les talons. And so use that little pressure of your arms into the ground to help you bring those hips way back towards your feet. This could be the perfect place to spend your child's pose for today. Maybe you stack some fists and rest your head onto your fists or hands. Or if you know where you're going, go ahead and extend your arms forward as much as you wish and let your head drop towards the ground. And using this first part of the pose to always let your body softly settle in so move around however you need maybe bend the elbows a bit and after a few moments you'll start to feel your body settle in you'll start to feel your bones happy where they are And just like you were so focused on your breath during your meditation, 
Bring that awareness now to it. Breathing in and out of your nose. And if you wish, you can make your exhale a little bit longer than your inhale, and that'll help you relax even more. And with your head kind of pressing against the ground or your hands, block, pillow, wherever it is, in this shape, you're kind of letting everything pour out of your head. And just let it all pour out, whatever doesn't serve you, whatever has been kind of invading your mind and maybe causing a sensation of anxiety or stress. And just for now, just in this pose, let it all go and let it pour out. Une tête main est accompagnée d'une expiration par la bouche pour encore plus représenter le fait de laisser aller. And ever so gently, if you wish, you can start moving your forehead from left to right, rolling it on the ground, giving your forehead, your third eye, a little bit of a massage. to center and follow five of your really deep breath cycles. If your head is all the way down the ground, just walk your elbows a little bit towards your knees and bring yourself back up onto your forearms. Just staying there for a moment, kind of slowly coming out of it. And when you're ready, press the hands on the ground back to your table and do what you need to do to just bring some movement back into your legs, maybe. Ça peut faire de bien, du bien, pardon, d'allonger les jambes, une à la fois vers l'arrière. And in between poses, I'll always invite you to do whatever feels good. 
whatever comes to mind first. Staying still and feeling the rebound effect or maybe moving around is what you need. So don't question yourself too much during your yin practice. Oftentimes, whatever you feel, that's what you need. Usually what you should go for. All right, go ahead and sit onto your heels when you're ready and sit down onto one side as you swing your legs forward. While you guys are getting ready, I'll just show you what the options are for the next pose. So we're gonna go into a fish type back bend. If you have uh, yoga blocks, I'll show you that option next. But if you don't have yoga blocks, and I'll show you what to do with your rolled up towel. You'll place it down onto the ground. And with your legs bent, come to lying down and bringing your shoulder blades about onto the rolled up blanket and letting your shoulders float off of it towards the ground. Your shoulders may touch, they may not touch. It's perfect, but you're looking to have about shoulder blade area and shoulders off the rolled up blanket. Cactus your arm, goal post style. On either side, you'll probably feel the opening quite obviously. And since this is fish pose, if you have no lower back pain, go ahead and extend your legs long. That's the option with no blocks. Let me show you with blocks. Pretty simple, whatever height you wish. We'll be here for a little bit. So if you want, if you know that you're pretty open and you want to go to the mid height like this, I like to have the second block a little bit higher so my head supported. Same thing, I'll come to shoulder blades, bring my head onto the block, and then just extend my head, legs, arms by your side. If you're already set up, perfect. Prenez le début de la pose pour laisser votre corps reposer, atterrir. Move around if you need to, fix yourself. Cette ouverture peut être une sensation quand même assez intense, surtout c'est pas une position qu'on est habitué à être. So let out a big exhale if you feel like it's intense. And feel that opening from your right shoulder to your left, the whole front part of your chest. And relax the knees and the thighs. Same thing with your toes and maybe close your eyes and bring all of your awareness, your mind's eye to the back of your shoulders. That area that's resting on your blanket or on your block. And now release it even more. Let it be heavy. Fall into your prop and let it support you. with your body kind of settled now, getting used to the sensation. And see if you can catch yourself when your mind goes somewhere else. And try to bring yourself back to right here, right now, maybe following your breath or observing really precisely or closely, I should say, the sensations happening in your body.
Great post to just kind of notice which shoulder we compensate more, which one we use more, which one's easier for us to kind of manipulate with movement. There'll be one side of your shoulder blade that's easier to relax than the other. That's totally normal. See if you can feel that in your body, noticing what side is more or less sensitive. Encore cinq respirations, five more breaths. All right, slowly, if you're on the rolled up blanket, bring your hands on either side. Block or blanket, you're just gonna roll over onto one side. Get the props out of the way, move them to the side, and bring yourself back to lying down flat onto the ground. Let's bend the legs and do a constructive rest. So feet as wide as your yoga mat and let the knees knock in. Revenez à plat le dos au sol. A few breaths right here. And I feel that effect of the pose. From this place right here of lying down on the ground before we move on to our rest of our practice, let's go ahead and get rid of tension where we kind of have it the most, but never think about releasing it in our face. So start opening your mouth up really, really wide. Stick your tongue out. Move your jaw from side to side. Scrunch your eyes. Open them up real wide. Move your nose. Get rid of tension there that you feel. Feel the release as you make those funny faces. You can feel good with your hands to come onto the side of the temples if that's what you want. If not, just moving your face around will release it quite a bit. And then when you're satisfied, roll over onto your right side. Keep your chin into your chest. And then, with the aid of your hands, redressez-vous tranquillement en gardant la tête lourde. Bring yourself back up nice and slow. Bring yourself into a tabletop. All right, from the tabletop, I'm going to flip over here. Go ahead and start doing some hip circles. And we'll kind of do this a little bit in between each of the poses. Hip circles, they feel good, right? Into, they go right into your lower back, make your thighs feel good. But at the same time, it's almost like those facial expressions that we get, just did. It's a little bit of freedom to move however you want to move, to exaggerate it, to let yourself be free here. And go in a different direction, direction opposite. Mm -hmm. 
and slowly back into your tabletop. And we'll just simply arch and round our spine with breath. So staying with a nice flat spine, take a really nice long inhale. And let it go out of your mouth. Next inhale, start to tip, dip your belly to the ground. Heart pushes towards the sky and look up in your cow spine. You can exhale here and think about bringing the back of your head towards your bum, and vice versa. Inhale. And this time start exhaling, bring your belly in to round your back. And when your chin comes into your chest to complete it. Let's do one more just like that with our breath. Inhale. Arquez le dos, venez dans le dos de la vache. Expirez, arrondissez, pressez les mains au sol. Pour le dos du chat. Awesome. Back onto your neutral spine. Sit onto your heels. And go ahead and sit onto your bum. We'll come into butterfly. So if you have your blanket, and you want to turn it into a little pad just like this. It can be nice to give your pelvis a little bit of a lift. Not that I condone all yoga poses with the bum on the ground. Just in yin especially, we hold these so long that you want your sacrum, your pelvis, it's a big bowl. And you never want the, the soup or the coffee or the tea in the bowl to pour out forward or back. So you'll even feel it sitting up on this blanket. You'll feel your big bowl of the pelvis nice and supported. Let's come into our butterfly, bringing the palms of the feet together, opening up the knees. Bonus, if you have props, then you can just put your maybe pillows or blocks underneath your knees. If not, it's all good. For a little bit more passive, heels away from you. If you want a little bit more intense, you can bring the heels in closer, but not too close. Try to still create that diamond shape. All right. Bring your hands anywhere onto maybe your calves or ankles. Press the palms of the feet together. Start to get settled in here. And as you press the palm of the feet together, see if you can relax the knees down to the ground. They may not go there, mine don't go there. And like you feel your lower body and get heavier, feel your upper body grow from the hips up. Let's try to keep this alive as we fold over. So take an inhale, grow your spine tall. Exhale, fold forward and think of bringing your heart towards your toes. Your fingertips can come onto the ground and then I invite you just for the first part of the pose to undulate as you move, as you breathe, excuse me. So undulate, inhale to straighten up a bit. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe you move your hands around from side to side. Play around with it. Ramenez un tout petit peu de mouvement au début de la pause pour vous aider à retrouver l'immobilité confortable, right? You want to find comfort in your stillness. So move around here. Zigzagging your spine. when you feel good about it, when you feel like you don't need to move anymore. Take one more inhale just to straighten out. And then on your exhale, come into your version of a forward folded butterfly. a little bit of awareness maybe at the beginning of the pose to scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's active or tense and can actually be released a little bit more. It's a nice way of um, 
occupying your mind, of keeping you present when you're in these long holds. Oftentimes when we can't sleep in yoga, they advise us to extend our exhales, just like we were doing to relax the body. They also advise to do some forward folds to relax the body, get the chill part of the nervous system going. And the other way, when we need energy, when we feel like we need to receive, we're told, to do some back bends, to re-energize us, to make us feel good. So as you move through the practice, as you do your forward folds and as you come out of them and come out of your back bends, and you feel what the pose is doing to your body, maybe ask yourself, how do you feel? A little bit more sleepy? or maybe a little bit more awake. Or maybe there's no difference at all. And come up a tiny bit and take an inhale here. And then exhale, you can fold forward, maybe spider crawl your fingers a little bit further. We're warmed up now. Maybe you'll be able to go an inch or half an inch more. We can't always have only some of one thing and none of the other. It's like yin and yang. Our bodies, our systems, our minds, they thrive over this balance. Three more breaths. Encore trois respirations. And on that last exhale, see if you can release those hips, let them go even more. With the help of your hands pressing against the ground, keep your chin heavy and slowly walk yourself back up until you're upright. And with the help of your hands, go ahead and close up your legs towards one another, opening your feet up and hands behind you. It could be really perfect for you to stay right here. There's no need to move. You feel like moving, go ahead and windshield wash your your legs. Moving as slow, as fast as you want. And extend those legs forward. Just taking a moment here to flex your toes, point your feet, crack what you need to crack. Maybe do some ankle rotations, shake your legs out. And 
Go ahead and puff your chest up. Take a nice long inhale. And let it go out of your mouth. All right, swing those legs towards you. I'll meet you lying down on your belly. You can move the prop to the side, your blanket, your block. And we'll come down, lying down, grabbing onto opposite elbows. Take your time to get there, there's no rush. As you get there, option for you, you can feel more comfortable with your toes curled into the ground or your feet flat on the ground. The wider your legs are, the more space you give yourself in your lower back. So if you know that's a sensitive area, open up your legs, give yourself a, as much room as you need to feel comfortable. Attrapez les coudes opposés. Puis en attrapant les coudes opposés, pressez les coudes au sol. So really press your, all your weight into your elbows, down into the ground. Maybe feeling a little bit of stretch in your belly area up your solar plexus towards your chest. And with your elbows digging into the ground, grow the crown of your head up. It doesn't have to be a drastic change. If you're curling a little bit, that's fine. Try to come out of slouching just a bit, just enough that you can hold for a few moments. You can stay by grabbing onto your elbows or you can release your forearms onto the ground, fingertips onto the ground. Most of that weight stays into your elbows. And you use a little bit of weight into your fingertips to kind of pull the ground towards you, help you push your chest forward. I shouldn't say push, but like guide your chest forward. Dans votre position de sphinx ici, le poids est dans les coudes. La couronne de la tête s'élève vers le haut. L'épaule relaxe. And come into that nice soft breathing, that luxurious breath cycle, full and complete. Slowly opening yourself up. Stay with your palms on the ground, or if you're okay to flip your palms up. Just kind of adding on to that receiving. If you feel the heat, if you feel kind of like the tiredness, let an exhale out of the mouth go. Soften your breath, it'll soften your mind and the sensation. pose or I will guide you into one minute of seal. Like, soit vous restez ici, which is a great option, right? Stay here. If you want to go a tiny bit deeper in your back bend, you'll flip your palms back onto the ground and bring most of your weight into your thumb and index of both your hands, like onto the inside of your arms, like in down dog. Pressing the thumb and index down into the ground, go ahead and straighten your arms. Trying to bring your inside of your elbows towards the front. 
relax the shoulders, lift the heart. Deep breaths here. À tout moment, vous revenez dans le sphinx si c'est trop, si ça tire dans le bas du dos, si ça pince. And if you're in seal, start to bend your elbows, come back to Sphinx. Open up your elbows from side to side. Place one hand on top of the other and rest your forehead down. Release your shoulders, relax your bum and thighs. And feel that release wherever you feel it, that tingle that heat. All right, from here you're gonna open up your right arm towards the right. Now your right arm can be straight. It just needs to be a little bit above the shoulder or your right arm can be bent at a 90 degree angle. This one's a little bit more intense than straight arm. I invite you to bring your right ear onto the ground and look towards the left and bring your left hand in front of your chest. Before you do anything, go ahead and activate that right arm, pressing the thumb index, especially down into the ground. Same thing with the pinky finger. You hit all your meridians here. Very slowly start to roll over onto the right. Press the left hand into the ground, bringing maybe your left hip above your right. Your ear is touching the ground perfectly. No problem. If you feel like your neck is crunching, maybe take your blanket, fold it in half, or in three, or in four, and rest your head onto, or your right ear onto your blanket. And the idea in this pose is we're opening up our right side, but we got to get into the meridians. So press those fingers into the ground, thumb and index to get into your heart, pinky to get into your lungs. And if it's an option for you, you can lift that left leg up and place it right behind you. The left leg up, bend it, excuse me, and place that foot behind you. A little bit of time at the beginning of the pose, really press the fingers down. Maybe feel the difference when you press thumb and index into the ground. And then when you press pinky, Side. What does that activate? Feeling the muscles in your body work. And relax those fingers now and just let the shoulder open up softly, slowly. If your leg, left leg was up behind you, go ahead and bring it back over your right. 
move the blanket or block if it's under your head and bring yourself back onto your belly. One hand on top of the other, rest your head onto your hands and relax. All right, we'll get into our thighs now, but staying in the same position. I'm gonna remove your right hand and just rest your forehead onto your left hand. If that's not comfortable, then maybe you can use the blanket again. So left elbow bent, hand on the ground, head onto your hand. You're gonna use your right hand and bend the right leg. Grab onto maybe your right foot, ankle, or maybe your pants leg. And very slowly relax that right foot and start to guide that ankle towards your right bum. Opening up the whole front part of your thigh. Relaxing the left part of your body. Try to let that go. Most of our pain and from tight hips and lower backs come from tight quads. So a nice little way to do this stretch without maybe trying to stand or balance. Mm, good way to do it chill style. If you slide slowly, guide your hips kind of forward towards the ground. You'll feel that stretch a little bit more. And very slowly release that right leg back onto the ground. Both hands, one on top of the other, relax your head, soften your whole body. Maybe feel the difference between your right and left side. Oh, yeah, the other side. Cette fois-ci, allongez le bras gauche. So over onto the next side. Avec le bras gauche allongé. So if you did it with arm bent on the first side, do it the same thing on this side. If you did it arm straight, go for arm straight. Vous allez ramener l'oreille gauche au sol. La main droite devant vous. Commencez par presser la main au sol. L'index, le pouce, le petit doigt, l'extérieur de la main pour activer le méridien. Relaxez l'épaule vers le sol, puis tout doucement, roulez sur votre côté gauche. En ramenant la jambe gauche, droite par-dessus, la gauche pardon. Je vais rattraper ma couverture. So grab your block or your blanket if you needed it for your ear or head. Passez le début de la pause pour vraiment vous aider à presser la main au sol, à relaxer l'épaule gauche. Pressant les doigts au sol qui vous aidera un peu à comprendre les muscles dans vos épaules, mais aussi d'ouvrir les méridiennes du cœur et des poumons. Si vous voulez, si vous avez l'option ou la place, soulevez la jambe droite, pliez-la, déposez le pied à terre l'arrière. An option for you, go ahead and lift that right leg up. Une respiration profonde ici. Lorsque la sensation est trop intense, expirez par la bouche. Prenez une pause pour revenir.
relâcher peut-être la pression dans la main maintenant. Et votre jambe droite est pliée vers l'arrière. Allongez-la par-dessus la jambe gauche. Très tranquillement, doucement, ramenez-vous sur le ventre. Bring yourself back into your crocodile. So open up the elbows. One palm, on, hand on top of the other. Relax your head down. Libérez la main gauche maintenant, puis déposez votre tête sur la main droite. So, free up your left hand and keep your right hand there, your head resting on it. Plie la jambe gauche, puis attrapez peut-être soit l'extérieur de votre pied, la cheville, peut-être le bas de votre pantalon. Tranquillement, essayez de guider le talon gauche vers le fessier gauche. Try to keep your thighs a little bit closer together, less far apart. If you're not feeling it, that could be a good way of bringing your thighs closer. Et en pressant légèrement les hanches vers l'avant, donc vers le sol, vous allez un petit peu intensifier l'étirement de votre quadriceps. that left foot, that left knee. And release that left leg. Bring it back to your crocodile. La tête déposée sur les mains, les coudes pliés. The best time to feel that pose is always Usually after it, after you release, there's like a rush, a tingling, a sensation in one specific part of your body. Almost like you feel everything softening, releasing, space being created. Bring your hands on underneath your shoulder tips, elbows bent. Very slowly bring yourself up into a table. And then come to sit onto your heels so that you're in seiza. Be very, very gentle with your head. And let the blood flow come back down. We've been down there, head on the ground for quite a while. So let's take a little bit of time here. Eyes closed, maybe. And just follow your breath for a few moments. open your eyes. Still sitting in Seiza. Ooh, we have the effect now of that last part in my voice. Now you're sitting in Seiza. We'll come into our next back bend. But before we do, we got, we'll open up our back line of fascia. And we'll do that with the beloved toe stretch. Come into your tabletop and curl your toes into the ground. If you're used to this pose and you want a little bit more of a challenge, 
ankles closer together. If it's been a while, open your knees up hip width apart. Coming back to sit onto your heels and then making sure that each and every one of your toes are curled into the ground. So grab your pinky toe, curl it down. And then do a little bit of a shuffle, a moonwalk towards the back. So you're bringing all of your weight, digging into your ankles and your toes digging into, heels, excuse me, and your toes digging into the ground. Toe stretch is fantastic, except, especially for this part of year with a lot of outdoor activities, walking around with boots in heavy snows. And this little stretch here that's kind of intense, which is why I'm doing a lot of talking, is to open up your longest fascia line in your body, which is the back chain. Runs from the back of your big toe all the way up your feet, legs, back, neck, head, until your forehead. Maybe this will give us a little bit more room in our next back bend. Go ahead and soften your tongue, soften your jaw, relax your hands, and take a really a few deep breaths. Exhale out of the mouth whenever you need. And if you need a break, then you just lift your bum off of your heels for a bit. Take a break, take a breather, and you meet us back when you're ready. We'll do about a minute and a half, and we'll do it twice. So anytime you need a break, please take it. No need to push. Almost there, about 10 seconds. And slowly release the, heel, the weight off of your heels, hands to the ground, uncurl your toes, place them on the floor. It could feel good to stay still, or if you want, tap your feet down. And where do you feel that? Is it more in your legs, your calves, your feet? Okay, dernière fois ici, vous allez retrousser les orteils. Round two, take a break, take a breather if you don't want to do it again. Sit back down onto your heels. Avec les orteils retroussés, faites votre petit moonwalk vers l'arrière. Puis qu'une fois que vous êtes installé, relaxez vos bras, relaxez les mains. Let's do some neck circles here to get our mind away from our feet. Bring your chin into your chest and slowly do some neck circles here, opening up your whole spinal chain. And then move your head in the opposite direction. And bring your head back to neutral. Option is stay here if you want. Give your shoulders a little bit of a stretch with an eagle arm. Swinging the right arm underneath the left, grabbing opposite shoulders or maybe palms. Lift those elbows up, relax the shoulders down. Give yourself a nice stretch here. Switch it up, other side. For the last 10 seconds, good job guys. And release, bring yourself back to your tabletop. Uncurl your poor little feet, give them a break. Either you stay still or tap them out. It's up to you. All right. Come up to kneeling. You can use your little blanket pad if you want. So you can kneel on your blanket. It's not um, mandatory, but you know, try to make it always comfortable when you're in yin. 
Once you're up here, our final back bend before we close with um, a forward fold will be camel. And we're gonna hold it for a good two minutes. Obviously, anytime you're in a pose, if you want it to be shorter or you need a break, you come out of it. And for camel, it's quite an intense pose, so take your time coming into it. Option for you, your feet can be flat down, or if you like camel with your toes curled a little bit more, use that option. I know I like this variation, so I'll stick with that. Bring your hands onto your lower back. And start first by just letting your lower body settle into the ground. Knees settle into the blanket, feet into the ground. Feeling from the hips down, solid. Not half that energy, not too crazy um, activated, just solid. And guiding your elbows and your shoulder blades towards one another, already activating that opening of your chest. You could stay right here and this could be your camel. If you wanna add a little bit more, you can start by, with the help of your hands, pressing your hips forward a little bit to help you lean back, I'm trying to keep those hips above the knees, lifting that heart up, lifting the chin up. Relax the shoulders down. Soft breathing. I think in yoga, camel is one of the, the most, if not the most intense uh, pose for, not necessarily our body, yes, but a lot more so for our minds and for our emotions. You're an open book right here. And the longer you do it, the more open you are the more maybe some things come to surface, need to be released. Maybe full of energy or full of love. And if you're used to camel and you know that you can grab onto your ankles, you can grab onto your ankles or heels, thumbs on the, in, on the outside. Oh, five more breaths here. And in your last few breaths, start to just slowly bring yourself back up. Take a little bit of time. Bring your chin leveled with the floor. And when you're fully upright, go ahead and sit onto your heels and say za. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, just follow your breath. It could be a lot of heat that was brought from the ground all the way up to your head. You could feel like your heart's beating really fast. Make your exhale a little bit longer than your inhale. Let's do it all together. Exhale completely. And then inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold it. And let it go out of the mouth now for six, five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Une dernière fois, one more. Inspire, quatre, trois, deux, un. Puis retenez votre souffle. Par la bouche, expirez pour six, cinq, 
4, 3, 2, 1, retenez. Nice long inhale. Soft exhale. Let's do about a few more moments right here. When you're ready, take your time, move that blanket out of the way. Come into your tabletop. Let's do some hip rolls again. Moving freely however you want to move, how big or small. Freedom of your expression. Bouger dans la direction opposée aussi. Switch sides. Puis ramenez-vous tranquillement au neutre. Slowly back to neutral. And in your own time, curl your toes. Lift your hips up towards the back in a down dog. A little bit of time here. Make it a yin do down dog, super chill. Bend your legs a lot and pedal your feet. Sink one heel down and lift the other up. We've been aware of our body and what we've been doing for a little over an hour now. And just feel that when you lift one heel up and press the other one towards the ground, feel that line of opening, follow that line, that release. Ensuring your feet are about hip width apart. Start to walk your hands towards your feet. Marcher les mains vers vos pieds. A good generous little bit of a bend in the legs for a final forward fold. One I think that has quite a lot of effect on us, on our minds, on our nervous system. So it's really good to end with and it's good to do if ever you have any kind of insomnia. This forward fold helps a lot. So feet about hip width apart, wider if it's more comfortable, a good bend in the knees. And I'll give you options for the arms for today. You can grab opposite elbows, ragdoll style. You can let your hands kind of touch the ground. Or if you want, you can step onto your palms. So lifting your feet up and stepping onto the palms of your hands. Either way, whatever, variation you choose. Just let your head be heavy. The crown of the head point towards the ground. A good bend in the knees. And start by just feeling the pose out. Spreading your weight equally into both feet. And bending the knees just enough that you don't feel like you're in a chair pose or a lunge, something comfortable. Relax the shoulders back and down. And then at the end of your next exhale, bring your belly up and in and see if that gives you a little bit more space to fold over. And just like the beginning of class here, just symbolizing that whole letting go, that whole whatever you don't need, whatever has been clouding you or disrupting you or invading your your thoughts, that doesn't serve you, let it pour out. Let it come back in a new perspective. If you're stepping onto your hands, go ahead and release your hands and fingers. If you're holding onto your elbows, you can release your hands to the ground.
Walk your hands a little bit forward so you're kind of like in a standing tabletop. Bend your legs if you feel like you can't touch the ground and just stretch the crown of your head forward and your bum towards the back, just giving your spine a little bit of space here. And when you're ready, start to bend your legs, bring yourself onto hands and knees. Move however you need to move or just simply sit back and say so. Give about one minute for the transition. So whatever you need to do, stay still or move around. Just try to be extra gentle with your head. Setting up for your Shavasana. If you want to get some socks on, a sweater on, maybe use your blanket to cover you, or you can use it as a pillow for your head. Try to keep your kind of awareness onto your yoga mat if you don't need to move too much. Not get warm, get cozy. I'll meet you in our final pose. Opening your feet up, maybe as wide as your mat or wider. Arms by your side, palms open. Push into your feet to readjust your hips. Puis presse dans la tête pour ajuster les épaules. And just start to let your body sink into the ground. The back of your shoulders fall into the mat. Relaxer les cuisses, les genoux, les orteils. Let go of your jaw. Tongue is wide at the bottom of your mouth. Relaxer la peau du front, les yeux à l'arrière des paupières. Everything's soft. duality of concealing and then revealing gives us a little bit of a reset like I was saying a refresher a moment to just be with yourself let go of what you don't need anymore and then open up to receiving what you do need to maybe continue on with that idea in a new way, or just to start fresh. And now you have this Shavasana, this beautiful opportunity to just relax. Let the practice do what it needs to do. Close your eyes.
I'll leave you in this final pose for tonight. So take all the time you need. You want to take a little bit longer. And when you're ready to come out, just turn to your side and chill and then bring yourself up to a seat and follow a few breaths. Thank you so much for being there. Merci à chacun d'avoir été là, for tuning in if you're tuning in. Next week, this class will bring those two dualities together and we're going to do a bit of a yin-yang class. All right. A little bit more to come. We'll post on that on Instagram and the descriptions on the class schedule website. Have a great weekend. Week, it's not the weekend. Bonne semaine à tous. Have a good Monday. Enjoy your Sunday evening. Namaste.